Welcome to this Black Pill Music School video all about manners. In this video, this is something you don't have to do, but sometimes it's good to do. So, first of all, I'm going to explain it in the world of co comedy. If there are several stand-up comics on the bill, they will ask each other what subjects they're going to do, because if they're doing jokes about growing up, then the other comic might avoid doing jokes like that because you might be treading over the same ground, especially if the comics are the same age. Think of it this way. If you're doing comedy jokes about TV in the 60s, you might get some good laughs. You probably will, hopefully. But if the next comic does the same jokes, you're treading over the same ground. So sometimes you have to ask what songs or, in our case, songs, in their case, jokes, they're doing so you can avoid repeating yourself. With music, it's the same way. If you're on the bill with, say, a jazz band, a swing band, and your hard rock, the odds on any of them two doing hard rock is minute, and the odds on you doing what they do is also minute. So that's fine, but when you're on a bill with maybe four or five rock bands, you need to know what they do or what songs they're doing because you may have to alter or they might have to alter what songs they are doing because you don't want to repeat yourself because if people hear the same song several times, they just switch off. They'll hear it the first time and they'll love it. Second, third, fourth time, yeah, maybe not. Now, granted, if you only have say five songs you're a band just starting off then yeah you're gonna struggle but really you should have a few songs so that if somebody else is doing song a you can change your song a to song b or something else it sounds daft but find out if other people on the bill are doing the songs that you're going to do now that being said, you can both do the same song as, as long as your version is different than their version. So if you do, say, song A at 180 beats per minute and they do it at 100, that's fine because yours will be a lot faster and theirs will be a lot slower. So to the ear, they will sound slightly different. And if you've got a male singer singing it one time and a female singing it the next, that's also fine because when you hear it, it's fresh. It's when you hear it at the same beat, the same tempo by the same male singer or female singer, it starts to sound the same and people do just tune out. So if you're on a bill with people who play the same musical style as you, try and find out what songs they are doing. The odds on you doing songs the same is quite small. There are certain songs that a lot of people do because they're good songs, but really the chances are quite small. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, and as always, goodbye.